గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ ఆల్ లెట్స్ స్టార్ట్ మ్యాథ్స్ గ్రేడ్ సిక్స్ చాప్టర్ సెవెన్ ఫ్రాక్షన్స్ సబ్ టాపిక్ మార్కింగ్ ఫ్రాక్షన్ లెన్స్ ఆన్ ద నెంబర్ లైన్ లర్నింగ్ అబ్జెక్టివ్స్ ఆఫ్టర్ ది సెషన్ లర్నర్స్ విల్ బీ ఏబుల్ టు ఐడెంటిఫై అండ్ లొకేట్ యూనిట్ ఫ్రాక్షన్ ఆన్ ఎ నెంబర్ లైన్ కంపేర్ అండ్ అనలైజ్ ద పొజిషన్ ఆఫ్ డిఫరెంట్ ఫ్రాక్షన్ రిలేటివ్ టు ఈచ్ అదర్ లెటెస్ సి మార్కింగ్ ఫ్రాక్షన్స్ లెన్స్ ఆన్ ద నెంబర్ లైన్ what is the length of the blue line write the fraction that gives the length of the blue line in the box if you observe 1 is divided into two equal parts the distance between 0 and 1 is one unit long it is divided into two equal parts so the length of each unit is 1 by 2 so this blue line is half unit long therefore the blue line represents half unit long the fraction is 1 by 2 let us see find the lengths of the various blue lines shown below here the fractional unit is dividing a length of one unit into three equal parts write the fraction that gives the length of the blue line in the box or in your notebook here if we observe one is divided into three equal parts and the blue line represents the second part so the first part is 1 by 3 therefore the second part is 2 by 3 second one here a unit is divided into five equal parts write the fraction that gives the length of the blue lines in the respective boxes or in your notebook here if we observe 1 0 to 1 is divided into five equal parts first one is 1 by 5 next the blue line represent here 2 by 5 then next one is 3 by 5 next blue line will represent 4 by 5 third one now a unit is divided into eight equal parts write the appropriate fractions in your notebook let us see here one unit is divided into eight equal parts so one by eight is the first part second one is a two by eight three by eight four by eight five by eight six by eight seven by eight and one let us see figure it out question number one on number line draw lines of lengths 1 by 10, 3 by 10 and 4 by 5. Solution. To represent fractions 1 by 10, 3 by 10 and 4 by 5 on a number line, we need to divide the section of the number line into 0, 1 into 10 equal parts because 10 is a common denominator. Locate 1 by 10 by counting 1 segment from 0. Locate 3 by 10 by counting 3 segments from 0. So, let us divide 1 into 10 equal parts so we are dividing 0 to 1 into 10 equal parts so the first part is 1 by 10 which we say notated with a red line 1 by 10. next one we need to notate as a 3 by 10 so 1 by 10 2 by 10 the third line will be 3 by 10 so which we are representing here as this this is this 3 by 10 next to represent 4 by 5 we need to consider this one as 8 by 10 to consider the denominator as 10 thus we are representing with this orange line that is 8 by 10 is nothing but 4 by 5 to locate 4 by 5 we are converting it an equivalent fraction with the denominator 10 since 4 by 5 is equal to 8 by 10 counting 8 segments from 0 whenever we want to convert as equivalent fraction we are multiplying with this same number the both numerator and denominator thus the fraction will not change so 4 into 2 is 8 5 into 2 is 10 therefore 4 by 5 is nothing but 8 by 10 thus 1 by 10 3 by 10 and 4 by 5 are represented on the number line question number 2 write 5 more fractions of your choice and mark them on the number line solution let us consider 5 fractions as 1 by 6, 1 by 3, 1 by 8, 5 by 6 and 2 by 3. So 1 by 6. So we are dividing 1 into 6 equal parts. So the first part is 1 by 6. Second one is 1 by 3. So we are next we are taking the one line and dividing 3 equal parts. The first part which we are representing with the blue line is 1 by 3. Next one is 1 by 8. So we are dividing 1 into 8 equal parts and first part is 1 by 8. Next one is 
5 by 6. We are dividing 1 into 6 equal parts. Therefore, the fifth line will represent this 5 by 6. This is only the 1 by 6, 2 by 6, 3 by 6, 4 by 6. This one is 5 by 6. Next one is 2 by 3. We are dividing 1 into 3 equal parts. First one is 1 by 3. Second one is 2 by 3. Therefore, the second one will represent 2 by 3. Question number 3. How many fractions lie between 0 and 1? Think, discuss with your classmates and write your answer. Solution. There are infinitely many fractions between 0 and 1. For example, 1 by 2, 3 by 10, 2 by 100, 9 by 100, 5 by 1000. Much over, it will be infinite number of fractions will be there. Figure it out. Question number 4. What is the unit length of the blue line and black line shown below? The distance between 0 and 1 is 1 unit long and is divided into 2 equal parts. The length of each part is half. So, the blue line is half unit long. Write the fraction that gives the length of the black line. See here in the question that they are telling. See, this blue line is equal to this half of this one. So, we need to express the black line in this fraction. We need to write. Okay. Solution. The length of the blue line is half unit as given here. Now, the length of the black line can be written as 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 3 times here. 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 here. 1 by 2. This one, this thus, 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is this but 3 by 2. Therefore, here this black line we are representing with this 3 by 2 is this length of this black line representation which we are representing here with the black line. Question number 5. Write the fraction that gives the length of the black lines in the respective boxes. So, here it is given 0, 1 by 5, 2 by 5, 3 by 5, 4 by 5, 1. The boxes are next we need to fill it out. Solution. Here, if we observe this 2 is equally divided into 10 equal parts. So, the first one is divided into 5 parts. 1 by 5, 2 by 5, 3 by 5, 4 by 5 and 1. So, the next one will be 6 by 5. Next one will be 7 by 5. Next one will be 8 by 5. Next one will be 9 by 5. Thank you.